Explode, the number one reason why I and many others say they should add a sound type. There is no second reason. But this Pokemon boasts the highest number of sound-based moves, having a total of 11 different moves out of the 27 total sound-based moves. But I mean, what even is a sound-based move? Well, essentially, it's just a move that is blocked by soundproof, minus Heal Bell and Gen 5 for some reason. But we're not here to talk about Pokemon moves, we're talking about Exploud's insane Pokedex entries, and just how wrong they are. Let's just start off strong with this one. In Pokemon Pearl, the Pokedex states its howls can be heard over 10 kilometers or about 6 miles away! It emits all sorts of noises from the ports in its body. That's really far. I mean, just go outside and try to yell at your buddy across town. Hey man, you wanna play Kirby's Air Ride tonight? You can't quite make out what his response was. Even furthermore, in Pokemon Ruby it states that Exploud triggers earthquakes with the tremors it creates by bellowing. If this Pokemon violently inhales from the ports on its body, it's a sign that it's preparing to let out a huge bellow! Oh jeez, earthquake tremors! I mean, good lord, that's a force of nature! So why can Exploud be heard from so far away? Is it even possible? And if it is possible, could it actually be plausible that it could trigger earthquakes, or at least tremors, from just a roar? I mean, these are the questions here. See, they are right next to my head on the screen. So let's start with the ability for it to roar and be heard six miles away. And heads up, you're going to be learning a little bit about acoustics in today's episode. Also, we're going to use 10 kilometers instead of six miles, as that's what's stated in the non-American Pokedex entries, and that's a much easier number to work with. Though because I'm American, I might sometimes still just say six miles. It'll be confusing, trust me. So let's talk about the human hearing power that we all share, as we are all definitely humans here. The human hearing mechanism is highly sensitive and covers a wide range of loudness, from the average threshold of hearing to the average threshold of pain. This range is often described as 0 dB SPL to 120 dB SPL, dB meaning decibels and SPL meaning sound pressure level. 0 dB SPL is the sound level below which most humans cannot hear anything. This is an average, of course, and there are some acutely sensitive ears that can sense sound that is below this, but while possible, it is rare, at least in adults. But even more common is to lose your sense of hearing as you age, and thus your threshold of able to hear it goes down, as in the minimum dB SPL goes up. 120 dB SPL, then, is the sound level above which most humans feel ear pain. Again though, this is an average, and there are some insensitive ears that can withstand sound that is plenty above this. Hmm. But here's a good question, because this scale isn't a mere 1, 2, 3 scale, where 3 is as loud as 3 ones put together. So just how much louder is 120 decibels SPL compared to 0? Well, if we define 0 decibels SPL as 1 unit of loudness, then 120 is a million units of loudness. As one acoustician put it, if 0 dB SPL is equivalent to the weight of a butterfly, then 120 is the weight of a pickup truck. And obviously, most pickup trucks weigh more than 120 butterflies. It's also been put as, if 120 decibels SPL is equivalent to the height of Mount Everest, 0 is the height of a fat earthworm. An absolute unit. So, let's figure out how loud Exploud is. And I'm sure I'm going to be doing a lot of crazy comparisons of sound levels. I mean, here's one now. A typical human conversation is about 60 decibels, and the average lawnmower about 90. See the difference? Only 30 decibels, but much, much louder. So then, what can be heard 10 kilometers away? I'm sure the world's loudest sound ever recorded can. In fact, it was heard 3,000 miles away from its initial point. Back in 1883, the great eruption of Mount Krakatoa could be heard all over the world, with almost 200 decibels measured historically at 100 miles away even. But even that is no match for the single loudest event that humans have ever been witness to. Back as recent as 1908 in Russia, the Tunguska meteor made Earth fall, and with it, an explosion equal to a 1,000 megaton bomb, resulting in a shockwave clocked at over 300 decibels. Wow. 
And see, now we're talking about a huge number. It only takes about 170 decibels to cause death in humans. Death by sound is a very terrible way to go. Thankfully, there isn't really anyone researching how to kill with sound, but the general consensus is that a loud enough sound could cause an air embolism in your lungs, which then travels to your heart and kills you. Alternatively, your lungs might simply burst from the increased air pressure, as acoustic energy is just waves of varying sound pressure after all. The higher the energy, the higher the pressure, the louder the sound. But what is the minimum volume of a sound to be heard at 10 kilometers or 6-ish miles? I mean, the real-world howler monkey is able to screech and howl so loud it can be heard up to 3 miles away. And they clock in at 140 decibels. And blue whales are one of the highest animals on the planet at 188 decibels. Although they are in water, and sound acts differently in water, so let's not go into that here. So then, I guess it's not that far off that a Pokemon can be heard from so far away. I mean, its decibels is just double the loudest land animal on the planet. Not totally unbelievable. I mean, I guess there are some Pokemon that are made of rocks, so I shouldn't really question it. So, to get this loudness, it isn't actually all that complicated. Essentially, we will need to invoke the inverse square law. You know what that is, right? Well, in layman's terms, in dBs it means that for every time you double the distance, your sound is about 6 decibels quieter. So a 60 decibel conversation at 10 feet would be 54 decibel conversation at 20 feet. Also, a dB rating Also, a dB rating without an associated distance or weight is worthless. I could have a 144 decibel speaker, but I don't know if that's 144 decibels right next to it or across a lake. So that gives us our first bit of information. So let's figure this out. Exploud is 10 kilometers away, and it's audible to someone. In fact, it would have to be audible enough that they understand that it's an Exploud 2. So let's say that it's about as loud as your typical human conversation, of 60 decibels. So now we take the square law of this, and throw all the math on screen. If you measure a sound level, I1 equals 133.9 decibels, at a distance D1 equals 2 meters equals 6.5 feet, then at distance D2 equals 10,000 meters equals 32808.3 feet, the inverse square law predicts a sound level I2 equals 60 dB. What all of this means is that at 10 kilometers, you heard Exploud's roar as loud as 60 decibels. Then, if you were 2 meters away, it would be 134 decibels loud roughly the equivalent of a gunshot. And if you've heard gunshots up close, they hurt your ears. That's why shooting ranges require hearing protection. But the thing here is that gunshots, while loud, they are quick. The sound goes away, super fast. Exploud can just keep yelling for quite some time. So much louder that it would be quite painful. Also notably, this equation was done assuming we were in an open field and there aren't any acoustic reflectors or dampeners in the way of Exploud to you. Typically, if you're out in the wilderness, there would be trees and things in the way, preventing the sound from traveling as well. So this is a really rough estimate, perhaps a best case scenario. It could be more or less. Now, this number is only a few decibels away from the threshold of pain and guaranteed hearing loss. At 149 decibels, your lungs begin to resonate with the sound, vibrations that cause difficulty breathing. And at 150, you have your typical rock concert sound levels in the speakers. At 153, you will lose the ability to swallow. So thankfully, this guy isn't all that crazy. It's 134 decibels. It's about the same as a, a bass in a very huge car stereo setup at max volume. It's actually one higher than a gunshot. A typical gunshot anyway, and it definitely beats the loudest human scream, only coming in at 128 decibels, as well as most fire alarms, which range from 65 to 120. But clearly then, considering all this, it's not loud enough to cause ground tremors? I mean, really. So perhaps this is just Exploud's average sound-based attack. Sure. 
Because fun fact, a 5.0 earthquake is normally recorded at 287 decibels, and it is believed that the sound waves after an earthquake may be what cause the aftershocks. The thin, grainy layer of rock and dirt between the tectonic plates acts as a liquid when vibrated at the correct frequency, losing that bond of friction the more the plates move, causing more earthquakes. So it's not all that far-fetched for sound to cause tremors. But that's only really the case around tectonic plates, of course. In Pokémon, we see that they are able to create earthquakes pretty much anywhere all over, which is inaccurate, I suppose. Now, I don't know about you, but growing up in California, the only real things we were taught are how to prevent forest fires and about why earthquakes happen. Essentially, it's when two tectonic plates who always are moving against each other finally give way, creating an abrupt motion, resulting in large, earth-shattering forces. Literally. And if you've seen any movie with earthquakes, they always seem to get the rumble wrong. In fact, it's normally a lot harder to hear because the sound is coming from a much, much deeper point than what you'd expect. In fact, just for a 2.0 earthquake, the decibels were recorded at 210 decibels, but at such a low frequency that humans are barely able to hear it. Along with that, the noise would be miles and miles deep underground. So unfortunately, I'm not sure xCloud would be able to recreate an earthquake just by his own screams. That is, if six miles was his maximum distance on how far you could hear it. But if it was somehow able to get up to 145 decibels, it would be able to vibrate your eyes, causing vision problems, and you'd get inner ear vibration issues, which would just not only make it very difficult to hear things, but you would become significantly off balance. So he can make you feel like you're experiencing tremors for sure. Very disorienting. So while this large pipe organ looking monster wouldn't actually be able to move the Earth's crust with its noise, it is essentially a master illusionist, a true pocket monster for sure. Plus, it can just learn the move Earthquake anyway. No need for sound blasts to do it. So uh, I guess whoever wrote the Pokedex was tricked by an illusion, or an explode using Earthquake while it was simultaneously screaming. As I'm sure it does, because with a mouth that big, I'd be screaming constantly too. You know, do you think rain gets into its head holes and it kind of like irritates it? Could it drown itself in the rain like some turkeys do? Or does it blow the water out like a whale? These are the real questions, people. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look into Exploud. It's really explosive and loud. Oh, that's what its name is. All right, cool, yeah. Well, as always, never stop using your noggin and check out the way awesome merch store down below. Doodles.